Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to solve one numerical example. This problem states that a sample of saturated clay was placed in a container in weight. The weight was 8 Newton. It means the weight of the saturated clay was 8 Newton. The clay was then placed in an oven for 24 hours at the temperature of 102 the weight reduced to 6 newton so after drying the saturated clay it weight becomes 6 newton before it was 8 newton if the g is g means the specific gravity is 2.6 then determine the water content in the clay the wide ratio of the clay the moisture unit weight the dry unit weight and the effect to unit weight so in this lecture we have to find out the five different parameters for this saturated clay only the dry and wet unit weight and the specific gravity of the clay is given to us so by solving this problem first out to find write out write down the given values the given values is that this is a saturated clay so s for the saturated clay is 100 percent it means it is equal to one it is 100% saturated clay also the weight of the clay before drying was 8 newton so this is the weight you will weight weight of the clay which is 8 newton after drying the clay it weight comes out to be 6 newton this comes out to be 6 newton after drying the clay and the specific gravity of this clay is 2.6 is 2.6 these are the given values so the first unknown is the water content so how to find the water content in this clay so it's very easy to find out the water content it's equal to the weight, weight of the clay minus the dry weight dividing by the dry weight it means the percent the water content comes out to be the wet weight is 8 newton the dry weight is 6 newton 8 minus 6 divided by 6 multiply with 100 percent we will get the water content in the clay so water content after solving this equation we get water content is 33.3 percent so the water content in this clay is 33%. Now to find out the wide ratio, the, we can use this equation that the is saturated value of the clay multiplying with the E equal to the specific gravity of the clay multiplying with the water content in the clay. By using this equation we can find out the clay because the saturation value of the clay is given to us which is one here in this case the gs is the specific gravity of the clay which is given to us it is 2.6 and the water content we also found out it is 33.3 percent so by putting all this value it becomes gs multiplied with the w which is the water content and dividing this is and putting this is on the other side so it will become s in the division portion so E comes out to be G is this 2.6 water content is 0.33 dividing by S which is equal to 1 so E comes out to be by solving this comes out to be 0.85 so E comes out to be 0.85 the third step is to find out the moisture unit weight so also we can use the famous relation for the moisture unit weight it is equal to the specific gravity multiplying with the gamma w which is the unit weight of the water multiplying with the 1 plus w where w is the water content in the clay dividing by 1 plus wide ratio e is the wide ratio so by putting this value
g is is the specific derivative is 2.6 now gamma w gamma w is the unit weight of water and the unit weight of water gamma w is 9.8 kilonewton per cubic meter this is in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter and this is the standard value you can also find in different charts so 9.8 multiplying with the 1 plus w is the water content which was 33.3 percent so we can write it 0 0.33 dividing by 1 plus e so 1 plus e is 0.85 so by solving this equation we found out the gamma moist eighteen point three three kilonewton per cubic meter because the unit was of gamma w and the all other values are unitless so we also get the same unit is the unit weight of the water so gamma moisture for this clay is eighteen point three three now to find out the dry unit weight so this famous equation also for the dry unit weight is the gamma moist dividing by the 1 plus water content so gamma mass is 18.33 dividing by 1 plus 0.33 water content so this comes out to be 13.78 kilonewton per cubic meter so we found out the, the, the dry unit weight of the this side is 13.78 kilonewton per cubic meter just by dividing the gamma mass we found out dividing by the 1 plus water content in the soil the last step is to find out the effective unit weight of the soil so effective unit weight we can find out by subtracting the moisture unit weight from the unit weight of the water so effective gamma will be comes out to be moisture is 18.33 minus gamma w is the water unit weight 9.8 so gamma effective comes out to be by subtracting this value this comes out to be 8.52 kilonewton per cubic meter so with the help of these formulas the famous formulas in the relation between the different parameters we can find out the different unknowns